a smoke screen. It doesn't appear it does. Oh, it does. You can't see. That is proving to be quite effective. Hopefully they get in in time. We are still facing Superman. That was a very good first rolling barrage. This video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. Be sure to click on the link in the description to get this game for cheaper. Great War Western Front is currently available at £21.30 at the time of this recording. Brilliant game and is much cheaper than buying it from there. Make sure you get it. You can have the Victory Edition as well, which is also cheaper than there. The link is in the description. Be sure to press it before jumping on the website. You will be given a Steam key card if you are using Steam, which you can activate really easily. Be sure to check it out. And as always, thank you. Hello everybody, welcome to another Moist Tea Gaming video. We are facing the Central Powers, mainly Germany. We're making a break through enemy territory, encroaching onto their capital area. We've got a combined force of British, French, Commonwealth and Belgian forces in the spearhead. And we've neither got Karl Schree, and then we're going to head even closer. We're going to have the French going up one end and the British up the other, or we can go down here and just see what happens we've still got to figure that bit out see whatever is easier while doing this we've managed to encircle these units over here meaning the enemy are restricted and are down 11 cores which means we can press the advantage getting closer to that capital earlier the enemy do have a couple of juicy death stacks floating around which we have compensated for we're going for 50% just over of what the enemy has in the adjacent territories that's all the way along the front so we've got two here whereas the enemy might have three for example but even so we're doing all right in the last turn we attacked this location just need to end the turn and see if the enemy attack it was a very costly battle looking at technology money is starting to become a little bit of an issue but I think what might be better is spending a point on the field hospital. That should save us a ton of cash, to be fair. Probably save us more than what the wartime taxes will give us. And then we're going to go down the gas option because we need the mustard gas war crimes back. Missing that from these episodes lately. So let's first of all end the turn. Ooh, excellent. New research grants. And we've hammered their national will because we've just surrounded all these areas. The need to increase spending on research and developments into new technology and weaponry has been recognised. Our leaders have focused many industries and think tanks into creating new ways to destroy our enemies while protecting our allies. Well, that is good. The enemy don't attack. We've grabbed all of this area here, so we are now officially in German territory. However, I think a, a war not too long before the World War I era, all of this was taken by Germany. So really, this is just grabbing this back. Correct me if I'm wrong there. There is something about that somewhere. We also now have three tech points, which is great. We need that first aid tent desperately. Another thing we could certainly do with, we need the gas. Oh, I didn't mean that. Revert that one. There we go. I do want the balloon sight range. I've already got that. 
I could go for that. Let's get the medics in. First of all, then we're going to go for the observation balloon because that gives us a 20% boost in the range of that and we can help that'll help us bombard the enemy to death. And then we can gas them out. Absolutely. That is going to be the way forward, I think. So we'll apply that for now. I don't want to waste more on these as of yet. It would be great to have snipers and grenades and everything else. But for the time being, we have to focus our priorities. We'll get the first aid tent first. That'll save us cash. Which is great. And then we'll go down for the gas. We're going to have to do it after we have done the balloon. Yeah, after we've done the balloon. Balloon first, I think. Cradle of Civilization, another event. British and Indian forces move along the Tigris River and capture Kut al Amara in Mesopotamia from Turkish forces. Their goal was to recapture Baghdad, but the British led force was inadequately supplied and woefully underestimated the Turkish forces. Though they came within 25 miles of Baghdad, they were shoved back with heavy losses. And eventually they surrendered after a brutal siege. Not ideal. And then we got another event. Oh, this is a mission. They would like us to research volunteers. I've got other ideas. I'm not wasting a research point on that. Having a couple of extra cores would be very nice. But we also need gas. So we'll go for that. We'll go for the... We're just thinking we'll go for the balloons first. Because we can bombard them then. A lot easier. And it takes a while for the gas to actually be... Fairly effective. Because we're going to have to go and get some of this as well. Which I would have liked at some point anyway. But still it's a lot of research points to get the gas. But we're going to go for it. Because we like the gas. The enemy have had a wiggle. All of this is the same. Apart from down here. They've moved forces over to Vouchers. And Stane. So we're going to have to grab some troops from somewhere. Particularly in St. Meanhold. Again. They keep wanting to have a gander around here. Mohan Jazz. Oh wow. That is extreme. 16... That is a lot. They have 16 cores there. Um, I can't find 9 to take that. I'm not too sure how to deal with that. I'm <laughs> not going to lie. But there is only one death stack. So they can attack once and then... It might be a case of... Uh, reinforcing that point then. They'll probably go for Nancy. That is a lot of units. Now we could supplement the French forces with more French from this lot. I think we're going to have to do it. I don't want to mix all the troops up. But we also need to attack that as well. We've got five cores there. I need to get the British troops in there. Unless I swap some of these British troops out with some of the French, which are over here, that might be a better idea. And just primarily have the French over here. Problem is, I don't want the morale loss, really, but I think it's going to be inevitable at this particular point in time. So if I still want to attack, all these units still need to be here. got the elite British there as well. They are fantastic. Ideally, I want them in the attack. I can go for some Belgian forces. Oh, hang on. They can't attack from here because of the weather. Region cannot attack or be attacked. So that is actually quite good. That means Stane can. There's no air missions. But they can attack us from there. So really, we've only got one to defend. 
which is fine. I we can grab evil. one and stick oh, them in St. Mean Hold. Then we'll be three against six, which I'm happy with. This is still a major obstacle, though. Sixteen. Um, I have to spread these planes out a little bit as well. I want to keep two in the attacking section. I think it might be a good idea just to stick. Couple of British troops in this region from here. That might be the idea. We have new orders. Five there, and then we've got five, six, nine there. We can have it in six each. Probably gonna get run over Stand though, regardless. We have a new orders. Ooh, don't want all of you. Ready yourself moving. Six in each of them now. I'm gonna have to purchase another plane. I don't think there's any actual difference between the British and the French air wings. But we'll just go for a British one. Where's the gun? Need to find them. Plane is now on its way to Nancy. That means I've got one in each of them. And the French in whatever that says. What does that one mean? Oh yeah, we need the field hospital that is for sure now money is running a little bit low but i do need to attack so we're going to have to attack hopefully we will have reduced casualties but i'm feeling it's going to be bloody anyway so we're going to have to go for it this reckons it'll be a loss but i don't think so we're going to be struggling on cash if the enemy decides to attack after this but the enemy won't be in such a good position for cash anyway. I'm not too sure how this is going to play out. I've always had plenty of cash in the previous missions. But then I've always seemed to have such a huge supply of cash. It just seemed a little bit of a waste. But it was always extremely nice. And having more cash would be good seeing as we're taking more casualties this time. That is what's costing us our economy at the moment. But the trenches that we had last time. Our comms trench running around and we had this as our forward artillery deployment area. And over in B, something similar. Now the enemy have barbed wire. Something we're going to have to contend with. And everything else. So over here we can attack this potentially on the flank. Get in over here. I think we did this last time. Run in that way. And then run over to command centre and do something similar. I think that's what we'll go for that again. I'm going to stick British troops on the defending sections. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. They are better in defence as they have longer range and additional rifle damage because they're a mighty fine shot stick some more reporting over here as well reporting. i'm gonna have to stick some machine guns here to bolster this and we're going to use this as our attacking force now we've got plenty of artillery we've got four light and four heavy might even go for some more heavy that would be interesting but it's getting limited on the range though so it's a little bit dubious as to whether this will be beneficial. We'll go for it, see what happens. This will be the first time I've ever used 10 artillery. Get some French troops over here and use these for the attack. Stuck some machine guns around here. We've got six, which is significant. Four in the front and two in this back line. All of this... I'm going to leave. I want plenty of supply for more troops to be brought in. I do not want to be caught low on supply. We've got four over at B, meaning I can only leave three infantry there and three infantry in here. I want plenty of resources available to me. I'm going to be hammering this artillery, hitting them with everything that we can. Plan to come over here and swoop our way in. 
Now, I don't bother with the balloons. We don't have the range upgrade yet. At least I don't think that we got it. I'm not too sure if we did get it and I've not used it. That is a shame. <laughs> but uh, yeah, over here we can just start bombarding this. I might as well. All of this artillery is going to make it hell for the enemy infantry. All of this is going to get smashed. The enemy will have a balloon somewhere. I will take care of. There it is. As soon as these have reloaded. Now I'm going to send all of these over here. Now I think it's all. Oh. No, that's not it. I found the button to move them all into one point. Exactly. Hold down V and then click it. And then they all move onto that one point. This does leave them very vulnerable to attack. But it is very good if you want to actually get in there properly. I might even actually go for the frontal attack and use the rolling artillery. But that would only really use six to take this. Then we'll have to go we'll have to go for it in waves, I think. Attention! Go for it in waves. We'll move them fairly forward. Not that far forward. We'll have to just we'll go for something a little bit different. We'll try and do it this way. Get that artillery warmed up, and then we can hit that balloon because that is going to be what's going to be hurting us in a moment. Not even stop these. Just for the moment. I know that they've got artillery and it's probably positioned around here. By the way, everybody, if you were available and around at the live stream, that was good fun. If you missed it, it is available to watch. I think you've just got to click on the live stream section in Discord. You should find it. No problem. Not too sure about the exact location of this thing, so I'm just going to blap everything at it. It will go down, and then go for another reload, and then go for the full attack. There's normally a few things that you can see that resemble the thing, but it's a little unclear. That should go down. If not, we're in trouble. I'd have thought that had gone down me now. I've clearly missed. Yep, I have missed the target. Might even be that little bit further north. But it's hard to say, but I'm not going to waste a lot more artillery on that. We have to wait for our guns to reload and just go for it at this point. I'm going to try and do a proper rolling barrage. That should lead up to there. So if we can get them roughly around here. They are all ordered to go. When I press space, they should do it. Because I do believe this will provide a smoke screen. Charger l'artillerie. Ordre de barrage roulant donné. Pilonner cette position. At least it should. Now I'm going to bombard all of this at the rear as well. I can't reach. I'm going to hit some of these at the back. They're still reloading. There we go. That should be good now. Just while we can, weaken that area, then all of this I'm going to have a couple more to break through as well. That should be lovely. That machine gun is going to become a nuisance. I can't actually hit that. Let's see if this provides an adequate smoke screen. It doesn't appear it does. Oh, it does. They can't see. That is proving to be quite effective. Hopefully to get in in time. We are still facing Superman. That was a very good first rolling barrage. Timing on that was very nice. And then we can go for it again. That was good. I like that. Let's get these lined up. 
troops are being ordered to move over. It would be good if we could merge these, not gonna lie. Once we've taken this, we can have more troops going forward. That MG is now gonna be broken. Our artillery is needed ready for another round. We are taking artillery fire. Lots of artillery fire. Lots of artillery. Wow, they're really going in for us there. Let's move these along slightly. We're going to set these in motion. Four troops are on the way. These are now encroaching on the enemy's position. I need to get these rolling barrages set up. Want it just so it's like that. Like so. It shouldn't damage our troops too much. Oh, I don't want to hit our own troops though as well. Oh, neither. Something like that. Hopefully to start firing in time. Quickly, there we go. I'm going to suppress that just in case anyway. There we go. See, you can't actually do anything. Excellent. You can also send some of these troops home in the smoke. And that has been moderately successful. More troops are in. I'm going to have to bring more up. This is working quite nicely. What a good day that is. This will reduce our casualties significantly. Don't think there's anything left in these trenches. But I can't be too sure. Now I could just press what's left in here and go for it. Because that is still a relatively strong force. Like so. And get these troops in. As soon as they start firing like that. Send them over the top. Get them in there. And those, these are still quite strong, so we can get those in there as well, even. Send home the tired troops. They're all on their way now. We get those in there really quickly, but I don't know if that's going to be good. Hopefully the artillery barrage doesn't fall apart. We are going to be taking some casualties here. We are thoroughly in that bit of trench. Need these to run over there as quickly as possible. Same with these. We need to go home as soon as. There you go. We need to get back in that trench pretty quickly. That is gone. Excellent job. We are taking artillery fire. Let's get these in there right quick. And just like that, we've taken another bit of trench. Now we're going to be taking ten these home. They might perish. Yeah, there we go. So we've got all this now. That was very nice. The enemy are coming for Aganda, so we need to prepare ourselves. We'll have one in each of these. When the enemy get giddy, and bring in some fresh troops. And work our way over there. Might start bombarding it now. The enemy are certainly going to be having plenty of troops in there. We can even hit all of this quite severely, actually. Something like that. And when the enemy come from this direction, we need to make sure we have plenty of troops over here. Because when they start running in, we can shoot them on the on the way in. So we need to take all of it at the same time. And now we've got plenty of troops coming. Oh, 
They're at risk of being obliterated. Can't really risk moving them now. We need them in the trench. We can also now reinforce from this section, which is good. They're both pretty tired. I'm just going to send them home. Not going to use them in the next assault, that's for sure. Even them, I'm going to send them home. We need to get out of there quickly. The enemy are definitely wanting to suppress the attack. That's looming. We need to wait for these to hurry up now while we start thinking about actually attacking again. We're going to need six again in the beginning. We've got that here, even. Might even start setting this up. On doit tenir cette position. On a de nouveaux ordres. Le commandement veut cette position. Get that done straight away. On tient. Move them all on the same point. On tient cette position. The enemy do appear to have lots of artillery. Cette position est à nous. Attention. On doit tenir cette position. There's some of it there. Now they should be able to attack us straight away, but I need this to be timed well. So I need these ordres. units over there Le commandement veut cette now. Position. These units have just been hammered. Don't want them to get murdered. It's a bit annoying trying to micromanage all of this, not going to lie. I don't think there's anybody else left to arrive, so we'll get another set of men there ready, and we'll just have another set in there. That is their artillery. Attention. Spread these about. Once they are ready, we'll send them in. Have to do it fairly rapidly. Something like that. I might even do all of that section actually. See what happens with that. We can do another one down here as well. avec toute l'artillerie. Attendez les ordres. While we send these guys in. Hopefully they are still strong enough Attention. to do what we want them to do. En position de tir. They're not in a perfect position to actually attack. This isn't great, but we can also send lots of units in to hit whatever is left in this bit of trench. Not doing them any favours. We are sending plenty of troops in now. Let's get these in a good position. That is nice. Got these two over here as well. We're going to have to suppress this because the other way of doing it didn't work. So far, this is a lot more effective. They have to go in waves more often, I think. Now, those are obviously got hammered. And we're going to have to go for this again. Like so. Get both of those selected and send them forwards with that line. We can have another one here. Like so. Send them forward. Send all of this forward. Yes, they are going to perish. But there's nothing we can do about that at this point. Get more troops in. Excellent, excellent. Now there's going to be plenty of units all the way down here, so we need to make sure that doesn't happen. I want to take this bit of trench first. A little bit concerned about time, but not too bothered at this moment. Now we need more troops here. They are coming, taking the time about it though. We do have mass amounts of artillery support on this occasion. This is something that we haven't had before. Not to this degree, anyway. 
Yeah, these troops are pretty much done. We send them home. And we keep fighting our corner over here. Come on, lads. They're all about to get obliterated. There we go, we got them in, we got them in. Let's do a one of them, see if that can stop the enemy from murdering us. Excellent, these are now all well and truly happily in there. Get two more in. We need to deal with these. That will get dealt with now. And we take that command trench. It's just that battery. They must have more floating around here. We need to take care of this. That bit of trench is going to be a nuisance, so we'll smash that. We'll walk those guys over. Again, still waiting for more troops to arrive. We are reinforcing from this section. This is why I wanted this bit of trench. Let's start hitting this a little bit as well, I think. I want to make these ones surrender. Nice, that is now gone. Excellent. We have more troops on the way. Now taking that. Need these to get hammered. They're refusing to budge. This is where the enemy starts to bring in more reinforcements. Hopefully that will deal with them. More troops on the way. These can move up slightly. A lot of their artillery will have gone now. Nice being able to slide them straight into it. That is now being taken over. They do have lots of troops in there though. Gonna have to send a couple of troops to take care of this. This is where the enemy likes to send lots of things at us. We can actually start hitting a lot of this, which I'm going to actually start doing. Which will hurt a lot of them. This is where we normally have the problems on the last point. These are done, we'll get them troops out with some fresh troops. Moving quite effective so far is this. Do need the enemy to stop trying to shoot me there. Yeah, they again attacked and they crossfire. That's what we want when they keep sending units over like this. Might even be an idea to come at them from B. We do have the rolling barrage. We have new orders. Attention. I think we'll do that. We need to hold this position. We have new orders. We need to hold this position. We will do that. Well, uh, they're going to keep sending units down here. Tenez-vous prêt. Attention. We might as well utilize it. Get all of these busy and occupied, and all things will be well. There's one, two, three, four we could potentially go in there. Those will want to be running there, so we'll go for one, two, three and see how that happens. We could even attempt to go at them from this angle as well. We'll just send these home. Hopefully we can inflict significant damage to them. We have one in each, I think. 
Attention, en position de tir. While our troops over here begin to move. Stand by for orders. Close ranks. Get them in a column Stand formation and we'll start ranks. to move forward. We'll go for another bombardment. They are still incessantly sending lots of troops over. Make sure all of this gets hammered down significantly. Before our uh, lads get sent over the top. Pause it for a second. I'm going to send all of these in in a nice formation, hopefully. We have new orders. Two in there like that. Attention! I'll have the other on one the going into that bit of trench there. Now we're also going to send in some other reinforcements. We'll get the more Ill elite trench in on après la bataille, on from this section. Over here is holding. Don't forget another elite oh, trench in that part though. Bombarding this incessantly, and when the troops get closer, we, we can actually orders. stick them in a skirmish formation now and then as soon as they get within a little bit of range like that oh, they're still a little bit far back a little bit more Remember, these guys have the extended range on them like that that should do it to a degree. We do it again as soon as we get a little closer, at least. Something like that. Now, lots of artillery is being moved over towards them. This will provide a significant smoke screen. This is, there's a lot of troops in there. I can't even actually remember where I've told them all to go. But we're going to actually start smashing them if we can. All of these bits of trench. We are going to hit them hard. Even that went better than what I originally thought. We still have all of this to contend with. Send these home. Spread these about a bit. Let's see if we can get these over here. That would be great. I'm not going to go for a flanking move. I'm going to go for more Frenchmen over here. Like that. Could go for a flanking move, to be fair. That might not be a bad idea. We can send all of these units over. As soon as they're done fighting, that is. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll keep these over here. Keep in this bit of trench. We're going to get these troops over as well. We're going to go for a combined attack. Bombard this some more if you can. Like so. I'm going to make sure we're getting this bit of trench. There were plenty of units there. Then we can hit some of this as well. Sounds good to me. All of these are going to be wanting to have a go. While I'm doing this, I'm pressing down B. This will make sure that they actually don't get too giddy. I'll go for that one specific point, which is something that has been an issue before. We can get these right over here. That'll be great. Then we had two more, I believe. These two. We'll aim these for right up that section. Or we could even have them just that here shooting anybody that decides to get giddy because up there is going to be a bit sketchy at best. We'll go for that. We could even send these guys in now. Attendez les ordres. Préparez-vous à tirer. Tenez-vous prêt. 
Something like that. We'll go for all those three. We have four minutes to do this. So let's send them all over. All of these are going to want to be in skirmish formation so they don't all get murdered immediately. This is going to struggle to reach, but it should be enough. We'll get one there now. We'll get another barrage over here now. We'll have another barrage down here, straight away. And another barrage over there, straight away. This should hammer them. Should. The machine gun will be destroyed. The enemy can't shoot us. Running through the barbed wire is very treacherous. The enemy can't reinforce now neither. There are plenty of them in here. These are about to get murdered. There's nothing I can actually do about that. All of this section is heavily man still. Now all of these have got giddy. We may have sent one too many in the same location. Hopefully they organize themselves quickly. Those are running towards them. We just smash this, but the artillery just doesn't be the one to reach. There we go. We can get away with some of that. Not that one now. This one will. Doing a rolling barrage there should alleviate some of that at least. Now we've got all this. These need to get in that trench. I hope they can. That one is. Done. Oh, excellent. They've requested to surrender. Well, let's look at the casualties this time. Make your guesstimations now. Because I think we suffered a lot less in that. That is for sure. Absolutely. Let's have a look. This also means that we've taken the territory, I think. Here we go. Oh, we did still actually take quite a beating. Didn't feel like we'd lost that many, but regardless, that has reduced it. And then with the medical tent that tent that has reduced our losses there as well. I didn't feel like we'd lost that many there. I mean a lot of it was in the trenches man for man so in that sense it, it is just a straight trade-off but I don't think we lost too many unnecessarily or by gunfire. But that's interesting. Let me know your thoughts of that in the comments. Excellent. We've taken that territory as well now. National will is reduced under pressure. We have received reports that nations backing the enemy are not happy. Scouts verify that they are not receiving the men and supplies they once did, likely because they are being battered. That does happen. We now have another area up here. This is looking quite interesting now, all of this. We could do with reducing the line a bit, because we're going to start being stretched if we are not careful. There's a few points which we could potentially do this, but it is going to take significant effort. We could, for example, take these two, and it will reduce... One, I think that's the thing. We want to make it so it's as easy as possible. If we were to breach through Ordinard, for example, the enemy will then have to occupy these three areas as well. So that will be ideal. We did try to do this before, but things changed. Or we could just continue to keep pushing 
Well, after have an investigation, once again, thank you all for joining. If you joined the live stream that we did on Sunday, thank you for joining that. That was all good fun. And I will see you all later. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye. Don't forget, there is a Discord. Join it. Thank you.